And uh, how is everybody today? It is Wednesday, August uh, August 21st. We have day 476. Hope you're doing well. Uh, 54 days to go until the first lab attempt. And it's going to be just a brief update on the vlog tonight and what's going on. Uh, yeah, I do need to make some travel arrangements. Uh, I've not yet booked the... Uh, I haven't yet booked the flight or uh, hotel, but... It's about time to do that since we're about um, a little less than two months away. So we'll be doing that soon, and I don't know. I know there's a recommended hotel, but um, I, I, we did Airbnbs this last vacation. It worked out really great. So if that's less expensive and close, may do that. But uh, we'll be uh, checking that out. But, yeah, it's, it's getting to be that time. Time to make the flight uh, arrangements. I did finish TA-18, uh, actually did pretty well with that. I was pleasantly surprised at how I did. Um, I don't know, it just did not seem to be as hard as some of the other troubleshooting labs I've done. Uh, maybe that's me getting a little better, I don't know. Of course, I ha I've had a good bit of rest, mental rest, so that always uh, helps. And yeah, I'm now on, uh, so I marked that green. And is that right? August 22nd? I thought I changed that. Can't be right. So, because that's tomorrow. Yeah, that needs to be like for Sunday. So the weekend. So it'll be uh, 24th. Yeah, I really need to try to get to these labs by the end of this week. Not going to happen. Not all of them. Um, I did start working today on troubleshooting lab one from I and E. That's the big, the big lab. It's pretty cool too because uh, they have twenty something routers. I mean, it's it's a large scale lab essentially for troubleshooting, and uh, it's tough. It's tough. Um, so far, I haven't done super well, but I have been able to get some of the uh, tickets a result of my own. But uh, they're pretty tough. So anyway, that's what I'm working on now. I have to do rack rentals, and that's eight rack rental tokens per hour versus the five, because it's the big lab. It uses uh, CRSV, I think. I'm not 100% uh, sure, but uh, it, it's tough. I'm enjoying it though. Uh, let me just go on there and see. I just finished a one hour rental and this does actually take you to the legacy um, like dashboard. But yeah, this is the full scale and uh, it is for V5 full scale troubleshooting and service provider. So uh, this is the rack rental guide. Yeah, so anyway, it's 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 going well. It's nice to get back. I have plenty of tokens. I have like over sixteen hundred tokens, still. Uh, I think I start yeah sixteen oh nine is my balance. So I haven't even used the hundred yet. But that was my last uh, save. Well, it says current just expired. I mean, I just finished it right before streaming. So. Um, anyway, yeah, fun, fun stuff. That's what I'm working on right now. And let me save this. So I, I'm not sure. I'll probably try to get through these um, hopefully by this weekend. And then this weekend, uh, this is a lot. I've got two CA labs and two TA labs. Um, I doubt that that is... I might be able to get to this one. If I get to that one, I'll feel really good. I feel like I've caught up. Uh, pretty well, and then I'm getting faster. So, um, anyway, that's what's going on. Um, yeah, different diagram. Yeah, they have different diagrams. It is interesting. Um, I think I can show you one of them. Uh, maybe not. I just close that down. 
But yeah, finished TA18, working on those. BVI, a bridge virtual interface. Uh, this was a very tough uh, part of uh, TA18. And I ended up making a flashcard out of it, uh, a configuration flashcard, because it stumped me. Like, it was saying, it basically the, the idea was, if you have router one, for example, and it has two interfaces, one is on, you know, ncap.1q10, and then it has another interface, 00.20, ncap.1q20. Uh, so you do um, bridge group one, I think is a command. So basically you have a, a single virtual interface that is configured for two different VLANs. And let's say off of VLAN 10, you have a router over here, router 10, and you have router 20 over here, and these are on different subnets. Well, this bridge group, it, do, it does just what it says. It bridges the group. So you could do then interface BVI1, and you can just put these, and this is just so we can enable routing between them. So you could do IP address, um, do once say 10.10. Uh, then you would need to do a bridge protocol. Let's say we're running spanning tree, and then you do bridge IRB, I think. Um, I don't know if that's integrated routing and bridging, or I, I'm not sure exactly what that is an abbreviation for. Yeah, come to think of it, I think I have seen this on wireless APs. So I wonder what the official integrated routing and bridging, yeah. Um, and then you would do, I think it's IP route BVI1, something to that effect. There's one other command in there. And it's going to let you route between those uh, hosts using this uh, bridge virtual interface, which is very interesting indeed. So that stumped me a little bit. I, and I didn't really take the time to like look up the documentation during the lab. I guess I could have done that to potentially uh, answer it on my own. Uh, excuse me there. But anyway, uh, fascinating stuff. Uh, and what I'm learning through these, some of these labs is things that Cisco routers are features that are there on bridges and uh, on switches and routers that One, I did not know they were there, and two, if I did, I did not know what they, they do or what features they support. And three, I just find it amazing that these features, uh, that there were use cases for this stuff. Um, but, I mean, my goodness, you can just about make a router do... You, you can bend what you, you could, quote-unquote, bend rules that you think that a router could not bend. And it can. There's a feature that allows you to do that somewhere. It's, it's unreal. But anyway, uh, that's all I've got tonight, folks. Uh, so going forward, again, uh, finished TA18. Now working on INE Troubleshooting Lab 1. And I can report back on that hopefully tomorrow. Thanks so much for hanging out, sending out good bits to the community. I know it's been quiet on Discord, and I know why. Uh, mainly it's because a number of us are who were previously active uh, we're working on our, we're getting ready. We got a countdown. Mine's 54 days. Um, so everybody's just scrambling and, you know, that's just the way it goes. Uh, things will pick up after the pass. No worries. So thanks so much for hanging out. We shall see you back here soon. Uh, you can follow me here on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and of course here on Twitch. If you are Twitch, uh, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get one free Twitch Prime sub account that you can use uh, once a month. Feel free to drop that here if it's not being used. 
Um, you may not have known that. But anyway, thanks so much for hanging out, and we'll see you back here soon. Tomorrow night, same time, same place, here on the Land Hammer stream. Have a great night.